Hi, my name is Kruna. I work at Mangraph as a technical writer. If you were looking for a cloud solution for your graph problems, look no further. Mangraph Cloud offers a graph database with no need for installations. With Mangraph Cloud you get wide range of available RAM power, Mage, an open source repository that contains graph algorithms and modules for solving your most complex graph riddles, and Mangraph Lab, an in-browser graphical user interface that allows you to connect to streams, build your own procedures to extend Cypher query language, execute queries, and visualize data. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up Mangraph Cloud, ingest real-time data from stream, and query the database in Mangraph Lab. As I go through this video, you will see some Python code. You can find all of this code in the blog post that is linked in the video description. Let's get started with the setup. Mangraph Cloud is available at cloud.mangraph.com. If you are a first-time user, sign up by providing your personal information, setting up a password, and accepting the terms of service. You can also register Mangraph Cloud with your Google account, which makes the registration process even quicker. Verify your email address by clicking the link in the email you got from Mangraph. In the next step, choose programming language you prefer. This will allow us to direct our support better and to add new languages. Immediately after registration, you will get a 14-day free trial for one project using no more than 2 GB of RAM. Start your free trial, or if you require more power, you can select one of the more powerful instances of Mangrove Cloud. Also, be sure to give your project a name. Next, set up the project password. Credentials used for the projects are not known to Memgraph, so you must remember them, as it will be impossible to retrieve them if you lose them. These credentials are different from the ones that you have used to create Memgraph Cloud account. And just like that, your Memgraph instance is up and running in the cloud. In the projects view, you can see all created projects and manage them. Pause, delete, or create a snapshot for backup. You can see how many resources your project is currently consuming, and you can pause compute to spend those resources in moderation. That way, you will need to pay only for storage. Let's get some data from the stream into the database. Memgraph Lab will open in your browser with a click of a button. Once you provide the password and connect to Mangrove Lab, everything is set to import the data. Let's take a look at how to set up and manage streams. With Mangrove Lab, you can create transformation files within the lab itself. First, I need to add a stream in Mangrove Lab. To do that, I'll switch to streams and add a new stream. Now I need to choose a stream type, enter the stream name, server address, and topics I want to subscribe to. I can go to next step now. Now that I'm done with the basic configuration, I need to define a transformation module and attach it to stream. To add the transformation module, first I will click on Add Transformation Module, then on Choose Transformation Module, and now I will create new transformation module. After I'm done with writing the new transformation procedure, I need to save it. The transformation procedure is now visible under Detected Transformation Functions on the right. Now I just need to select the transformation procedure and attach it to Stream. Once the Stream is configured, I can connect to Stream. Mangraph will do a series of checks, ensuring that the defined topics and transformation procedures are correctly configured. If all checks pass successfully, I can start the stream. Once the stream is started, I will no longer be able to change any of the configuration settings, except the stream offset and the transformation module. You can see the number of nodes and relationships rising as the data keeps coming in. I will now run a Cypher query to visualize the data coming in. To do that, I'll switch to query execution and run a query. That's it. You have seen how to create a new Mangrove Cloud account, start a new project, ingest data from the stream and visualize it. In order to help you with diving into the world of data streams, we have prepared for you 
four datasets that are streaming 24-7. In the description of this video, you can find links to written guides on how to access them. Check them out, give our streams a test spin and send us your feedback. Until next time, have fun with streams and graphs in Mangrove Cloud. See ya!